Hello, it's Nina with Stitching with a Smile. Uh, I thought I would do a, a quick little video regarding uh, threads. Um, I had a number of questions, so I thought before we uh, move into the uh, Hardanger Stitch Along, let's see if I can answer some of the questions. Um, again, I, I'm an amateur. Uh, I will talk about just a, a few threads, not too many. Um, there are tons of threads out there. Uh, I'm just going to be speaking about a few and just compare, comparing them and giving you an idea of size, etc. So let's get started. In Hardanger, uh, in North America, what we usually use or what we usually begin with using is a 28 or 22 count Hardanger fabric, which is the fabric that I've chosen for our project and that is this fabric. Um, 22 count means there are 22 threads per inch. I also have this yellow fabric here that is uh, 25 count Lugana. So that means there's 25 threads per inch. Now let me give you a comparison of threads. I'll just move this all out of the way and there are more fabrics than what I'm talking about uh, and there are definitely more threads than I'm talking about um, but I'm just going to do the basic so the DMC pearl cotton this is let's see now there we go uh, number three this is a size three and it is the largest size of all the uh, pearl cottons. Um, normally I do not use a size 3 because I don't use any fabric that is um, got a bigger thread count than 22. I, for instance, I, I, I've not used a 20 count or an 18 count in Hardanger. And there, you know, you can definitely use a 20 count and an 18 count and, and even more. Um, I just choose to do 22 count and up. Um, so the number three pearl cotton is probably more suited to a 20 count or an 18 count. Then you have the number five pearl cotton, which is the most common one that we use with a 22 count Hardanger fabric and a 25 count Lugana. Uh, then you have the number 8 pearl cotton which is again a very common one that uh, we use for the needle weaving in a 22 count Hardanger fabric or a 25 count Lugana. There is also a number 12 pearl cotton that's very fine and uh, that would be used for the needle weaving in a higher count, 28 count, 30 count, 32 count, etc. Um, those are the DMC pearl cottons. And the counts or the, the size kind of confuses people and with good reason. You would think a size 3 would be smaller than a size 5, however a size 3 is bigger than a size 5. The reason for that has to do with threads um, per wrap. Now, I don't know the exact how it works, but I've done a little tiny sample. So here's the number 3 pearl cotton. There are 6 wraps in a quarter inch. Here is the number 5 pearl cotton. There are 9 wraps in a quarter inch. Here is the number 8 pearl cotton. There are 11 wraps in a quarter inch. And here is the number 12 pearl cotton. There are 13 wraps in a quarter inch. Now remember, these are my wraps. Very unscientific. <laughs> so I might be off. But um, this gives you an idea of why the number five is smaller because you can get more in the inch 
than a number three. The th number three, so the number three is a lower number than number five. However, you can get less threads per inch or per wrap, or less wraps per inch or quarter inch. Um, I'm hoping that explains it. Other uh, um, threads that we uh, that uh, uh, that I have on hand. Uh, I have the Valdani. This is one color. There are many, many colors. That's a number five pearl cotton. It is 100% cotton. And I also have the watercolors, which, and I'll show you uh, in a moment. I'm going to uh, do this for you, but this is uh, equivalent to a number five. One ply of this is equivalent to a number five. So what I've done is, let me move this out of the way, is I have, now I probably should have gotten a little stand or something, here you have a number three pearl cotton done as a cloister block, a number five, a number eight, and a number twelve, so that you can see the coverage of each of these. The number three pearl cotton, this is 22 count Hardanger fabric. The number three pearl cotton I think is too thick. Now that's just my opinion. If you like it, you go for it. The number five pearl cotton I think looks just fine. The number eight pearl cotton might be a bit thin. So uh, again though, if you like it, go for it. Uh, and the number 12 I think is too thin, but if that's the look you're going for, go for it. And I've done a quick little sample here of, uh, this is one inch on the 22 count. There's 22 threads within that one inch. Then I have the 25 count. There I've done the one inch. And what I've done here is, this is the Valdani number five, and that's the DMC number five to give you an idea of coverage. Both actually seem to work quite well. Uh, and what I've also done is put together a list here. You'll notice that the light has changed. I've had to redo this section uh, and insert it in here. So um, that's why it's a little bit different. And uh, I do notice that in other parts of the video I talk about DMC no longer making uh, balls of um, the pearl cotton. It's only in the number five that they used to have the colors in balls. Now they only have the colors in skeins of the number five. And uh, then the number three is only in skeins. The number eights and the twelve pearl cottons, DMC pearl cottons, are still in balls. So with that said, this is a little cheat sheet I made for myself. Uh, the number three pearl cotton. Um, the, it comes in skeins and you'll have to look at the colors that are available. Uh, Nordic Needle website has a, I believe, a full listing. Uh, there are 16.25 yards in a skein. The number five pearl cotton. It still comes in a ball in the white and the ecru and that's 53 yards. However, any other colors, solid or variegated, come uh, in a skein and it's 27 yards. The number 8 pearl cotton is in a ball and there's 95 yards and the number 12 pearl cotton is in a ball and there's 141 yards. So now, if you have an older pattern and the older pattern is saying one ball of number 5 is required and it's a color, you will need to get actually two skeins to equal that one ball. So just keep that in mind. The Valdani thread comes in balls or skeins, although I think uh, most places really just carry the balls, so I'm just going to concentrate on that. The solids and the variegated are the same. So the number five of the Valdani, the size five, there's 42 meters to a ball. 
the size 8 there's 67 meters and the size 12 there's 100 meters. One meter is equal to about 1.09 yards so one meter of um, uh, one meter equals just um, a little tiny bit more than a yard. So you can almost, you know, unless you're getting into large quantities, you can almost do a one-to-one -one ratio. So again, if the pattern, an old pattern, says one ball of number five, which is 53 yards, you might get away with one ball of the Valdani number five, which is 42 meters. Um, however, my... Uh, I always like to be on the safe side, so I always get a little extra. You can make cards or, or other things with it when you have extra. The Caron collection um, comes in watercolors. Well, actually, the Caron collection comes in quite a lot of different things. But for the purposes of basic Hardanger, um, I really have only ever used the watercolors or the wildflowers. And these are cotton. Um, they also have some in silks and, and a few other things too, but I'm just going to talk about these two. The watercolors is a three-stranded cotton, and each strand has three plies, and you, you separate it into the three plies. So one ply is equal to uh, a, about a number five pearl cotton. And for the watercolors, there's 10 yards per skein, but because you can divide each strand into three, it's equivalent to about 30 yards of number five pearl cotton. So again, if a pattern says you need one ball of number five, for the Caron, you should probably get two skeins. To be on, to uh, equal that one ball, and later on in the video, I will show you how to separate the skeins so that you understand that too. The wildflowers is also a cotton; it's a single strand. You don't separate it. One strand, uh, the uh, size of that is somewhere between a number eight and a number twelve pearl cotton. So you could use it for your needle weaving, and there's. I'm having a hard time. Th oh, 36 yards per skein for the wildflowers. So a ball of number eight is 95 yards, which is quite a bit. You probably will, you know, unless you're doing a very large piece, you probably won't use all that up. So one or two skeins of the wildflowers, again, unless it's a very large piece, uh, maybe two skeins to be on the safe side, would probably do you. Um, okay, so I will show you in the next segment how to switch over um, to separate your, your watercolors. Okay, so what our goal is, is to take our skein and put it onto one of these rings. And that's the easiest way to deal with your... Uh, your thread when it comes in a skein. I use, now I've got, I happen to have here 15 uh, plastic bone rings. And these are, yeah, plastic bones. I'm, I'm not sure why they call them that. Uh, it's curtain rings. Um, I think this I bought at Walmart or somewhere. I'm not sure where. But you can find them, uh, say, Fabric Land in Canada. I don't know if there's Fabric Land in the States. Joanne's maybe. Wherever there's curtain things, you can find find those. Um, there is, uh, for manufacturing, a little uh, nub and find that nub and then just file it. Uh, you can use, um, my husband used a file uh, or you can use sandpaper and I think on some I even used um, a nail file. So however you want to do it. It's just so that your, your thread doesn't get caught. Okay, so what we need to do is first of all take it out of here so I am going to try to do this in camera and I want to undo it hold on a second okay. so let's undo this 
You could cut it if you're having trouble. I prefer to undo it if I can, but I will cut it if I'm having trouble. Then, and I've got to go back down and look here, you untwist it and get it into its loop. There you go. So now it's, it's in its loop. All right, and then you have to undo it again. Uh, should be fairly easy here. There, okay. And then I kind of separate. There we go. So I have the loop, and that is where they were tied up. So that's pretty much where I'm going to start because that will give me two even ends. I'm going to take my scissors, don't be afraid, and cut. Of course, it's sticking to my hand. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There we are. So now you have it cut. Then we'll even it out at the bottom. Hold on a second. There. I'm going to find the center, put it through here, loop it around. Okay, it's on the skein. Now that it's on the skein, when you need a piece, and this works for any skein, let, let's do it here. Oh no, I want to show you the plies. So <clears throat> pick a thread, doesn't matter what thread. So I've picked a thread, I usually use my needle, I happen to have a laying tool, and just uh, pull it out. Okay, so I've pulled out the thread. Let me tighten that up so that we're back in business. And here is one strand of the, uh, what was it, uh, <laughs> watercolors. What you do with this one strand then is divide it into three plies. So as you can see, I'm just tapping it. Now you can't divide it the same way. You can't just pull it out. You do have to separate. Um, with DMC floss, you can find the thread and actually just pull. With this, you can't do that. You actually have to separate. Okay. So I now have one, one strand, and that is what I'm going to stitch my cloister blocks and satin stitches in, is this one strand. There are two strands left on here. Um, if I'm doing a lot of cloister blocks, I will actually unstrand those two. I'll have three strands and I'll thread up all three needles and I'll park two of the needles somewhere, usually on a magnet uh, beside my workstation, stitch with one and then I can just pull out the next and go and go and then I'll do three more. Uh, it just makes it go faster. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this so that I know what color it is I've got, which is peach sherbet. And I'm going to attach it onto here. Um, however you want to do that, just attach it onto there. Uh, now, I had said before, but I'm going to stress it again because this is very important. When you are going to use the watercolors um, and you say you choose peach sherbet uh, you decide you need I don't know say four skeins to do your project six skeins whatever if you're going into a store or if you're ordering online please make sure that you get the same dye lot number so the 013 peach sherbet will be the same for whatever but the dye lots will be different Make sure that if you're going to be doing one project, you get all the same dye lots because they vary quite a lot. This is hand dyed, and it won't. Each dye lot will be different, even though it'll be close to the same. It will be different, so make sure you get the same dye lot. Uh, let me see now. Was there anything 
Uh, oh, yes. And, and I apologize, the last question, which should have been first on my mind, I'll put it first in the description, is how much thread do you need? We did, we talked about the size of fabric, but we never talked about how much thread. They don't actually tell you in this pattern that uh, we've chosen, they don't tell you how many balls or skeins you need. Uh, my first thought is, this is an older pattern, which means that I think they would be thinking in terms of balls, which n they no longer sell the balls in the colors. Um, so we have to figure out how many skeins. My thought is, because they didn't put the number that you need here, you would only need one ball of the number five and one ball of the number eight. Um, uh, I see I lose my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> let me think here. Um, me, personally, I'm not comfortable with just one ball. I'm sure it's fine, but I'm not comfortable with one. My thought would be two balls of the number five. One ball of the number eight, I'm sure, is fine, but two balls of the number five, which would be the equivalent of four skeins. So, if you're ordering, and I apologize I did this so late, um, order a minimum of four skeins of the number five pearl cotton or four skeins of the watercolors. Now, if you are ordering the Valdani, where is my cheat sheet here? Um, oh, here it is. The Valdani. Let me look here. The Valdani is uh, number five ball is 42 meters, number five skein is 27, so that would be 52 yards, 42 meters. I would say two balls of the Valdani will probably give you more than enough. Um, so just, these are just guidelines, uh, and I am kind of guessing because I haven't actually done this pattern. But uh, I do like to be on the safe side, so I will say order more. Okay, I think that that does it. Um, I will be, I'm hoping that this week I can uh, get the video up for the beginning of the Hardanger Stitch Along. Uh, as I said though, uh, it's once it's up, it's always up. You don't have to follow right away. You can follow when you like. And I want to also say thank you for watching, for uh, liking, for subscribing, for commenting. Um, I think that's just great. There's, uh, um, there's a lot of people interested, and uh, I love that uh, we can uh, share our knowledge and get more people into the stitching community. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.